Hello again, my art friends. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an origami bunny. Now, we need to make this rectangle into a square. This is an origami pattern that requires a square. So, we are going to turn this rectangle into a square by one hand holds, the other will fold. I'm going to fold this edge of the paper. I'm going to fold it down to meet this edge. Nice corner here flat matched up lines there. I'm going to hold the paper and fold. Line up my corners and my bottom edge. Press and smooth. Now we're going to cut off this piece right here. Remember you can use a pencil and either trace along that edge or if you can hold your paper nice and flat and carefully just cut that line. right off. Now, the first fold already done for you because we made that a rectangle into a square. So for a bunny, we are going to take our triangle and flip it. So the long side is down. The top of the triangle is pointing away from you. Now we're going to fold this in half. One hand will hold, the other will fold. Remember, you have to help the paper fold sometimes. See my thumb? It's smoothing out that edge. Oh, now it folds nicely, doesn't it? One hand holds, the other will fold. We're lining up those corners and edges. Notice the switcheroo? Mm-hmm. Press and fold. One hand is always holding the paper so it doesn't wiggle around and like shift off course. Now I'm going to open it back up. That fold we just made was a guideline. It's going to help us. There's the middle. Now I'm going to take the bottom edge of my triangle. I'm going to use both hands, pick it up and fold it. Now what I like to do is take that middle fold line when I flip this edge up like this, I can line up this middle line with this middle line. See, it's a little off kilter. Line it right up. Press and smooth. Oh, he's still a little off kilter. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fix that. Yeah. See that? One hand is holding. The other is folding. All right. And then they switch. Origami is so good for strengthening your hands. You get really strong fingers, really strong hands. And next, we are going to use this middle fold line again to help guide our next fold. One hand will hold, the other will fold. We're going to take this. Now, I need to help the paper because what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this edge to meet this edge. And if I try to do that right now, see how weird it is? Now, nah. this hand needs to help it along. So I'm going to kind of help the fold. I'm going to actually put my finger right down in the middle. One hand is holding. The other is folding. Look at that. Now we do the same on the other side. Again, one hand is holding. Sometimes you have to like help the paper fold. When you fold your paper a couple of times, it gets thicker, it gets stronger, it gets harder to fold. That's why you have to use your hand and kind of help loosen those folds, kind of smooth them out. Now this folds up, hold and fold. And then we flip it over. So you can kind of see these are the ears, but this head is way too tall. So what we need to do is, look at that. We could take this little flappy top and we are going to fold it in. See that? So I'm going to take this layer. I could see the ears behind it. We're going to fold and tuck this guy behind. I'm going to make his head about that big. There. And then, see this little bottom part here? We can take this little triangle bottom and fold it behind. Might actually be easier to flip it over and do this. See, I'm gonna 
fold that little corner up. This is really tricky because it's really thick. And then I'm gonna flip it over. And this is our basic bunny shape. Doesn't look much like a bunny though. Let's add some details, bunny details, and turn it into a little more of a bunny. I'm gonna give him a little oval nose. I'm gonna give him a curved line, curved line. There's his little bunny now. You might even give him some bunny teeth. Bing. And then, of course, I'm going to give my bunny some big old shiny eyes. Because you know bunnies. They're cute. Until they get into your garden and eat all your veggies. But you know what? Bunnies got to eat, right? But yes, bunnies are usually super cute and fluffy. Do any of you guys have bunnies hanging around your neighborhood or your house? I know I have a big fluffy bunny that hangs out in the backyard, in the side yard. It's so big. Oh, and over at my mom and dad's, they have bunnies that live in their barn. It's so cute. And they have babies. Oh my gosh, I saw one the other day. A little chipmunk attacked it. Um, the little baby bunny's fine though. He looked a little bit like this. No, just kidding. He looked like a real bunny. But this origami bunny, super cute. Could even give him some little bunny whiskers, right? Yeah. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed your bunny origami. Remember, if you need to, pause the video. That helps a lot when you're doing more challenging origami and even drawings. All right, have fun. I'll see you later. Bye.